Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we're reacting to Oliver Anthony. This is 90-some Chevy. Oh yeah. I Looks like, like he's taking us camping. Okay, he's got a nice big tent. Looks like it could fit me, you, him. It looks like it's got a screen door on this it thing. It does. It looks What the heck? I didn't even know they came big. with sliding screen doors. <laughs> it could fit all of us, okay? So we're all going door. camping. Zipper. Anyways, it it does look like that, but still, it's got it looks like a, you know, anyways. We're not camping experts, obviously. We're not musicians or musical experts, but we are lovers of the outdoors and music and its ability to connect us all and inspire us. Yes, we love reacting to music that has deep, meaningful lyrics, a positive message, or songs that just put us in a positive mood. Yes, and Oliver, a.k.a. Chris, or Chris, a.k.a. Oliver, mm -hmm. I should say, uh, always puts us in a positive mood, even when he's hitting those deep, meaningful topics. It's just, we love the dude, so. Yeah, he speaks the truth, man. He's speaking the truth. So yeah, 90-something Chevy, I'm excited for this. It's gonna be putting us in a positive mood, helping us spread that positivity all over the world. That's our mission here yes. on the channel. And as always, we leave links for the original video and the artist down below. Make sure you're clicking on those links. Support Oliver Anthony, that is what we're here for. He's going through some changes. He's getting popular, more people are seeing him. Let's get more people to see yeah. him. Yeah, who else is hitting? Tr trending after trending after trending on the music like he is three days 1.5 million views what that's I know, crazy that just makes me super excited that the positivity is just being spread and spread and more people are seeing him i feel like that's just gonna be like a it's a chain reaction yes. okay like he said he's a he's an expert of the industry now after a few weeks <laughs> on the joe rogan podcast it was hilarious if you haven't seen it go check it out yes, um definitely. but yeah definitely even if you've already seen this if this is your first time viewing it with us after you watch the video go down in the description click the links for the original go and watch it one more time mm -hmm. or for the first time without us pausing talking because we do do that okay i know some people you know i just call you guys out for a second those people <laughs> who expect you not to pause during a reaction video how dare y'all yeah. okay go it's watch a the reaction original. video yeah, yeah go watch the original <laughs> we want you to yes that's definitely what we want you to do and uh us pausing is to incentivize you to go and do it anyways you ready for this? Yes, let's get into keeping the music and positivity flowing. Let's do it. I, I like the vibes it. already, yeah. I was literally going to say that. Oh, darling of mine is like a 90-some Chevy. She rides just right when you turn her on. The only thing sounds better than that old 350s when she's running up to kiss me. When I get home, it's been a hard day. I'll tell you, darling, it's been a long week. Might have to load up the dogs, go and listen to the frogs croaking down in the creek. Okay. We can take her nice and slow, a case of beer and a zen cold. Let the sun sink good and low. There ain't no telling where we'll go in the back of that 90 some Chevy. Ooh. Dude, I wasn't expecting this to be a love song. Dude, okay. I love it. This is giving me vibes of you and me going fishing in the dark. Yeah. It's just like a, it's a playful, like you have that person in your life and you could just take off and go anywhere with them and just have the best time. And just like, it's such good feeling, good vibes, like all of it. Ugh, I it love is, that. It is, man. It's been a hard day, been a long week, man. Mm -hmm. Coming home to you, like, oh, dude, that's you're great, gonna have to start calling me darling lyrics, dude he's a great lyricist he is amazing at freaking writing these lyrics putting them from pen to paper uh -huh. and then bringing that song to us like it just and he's so good that, at the process his voice is the yeah. the key to it like because anybody could sing a song that is written but like just his voice it just puts that extra something in there it's so yeah. awesome the back of that 90 some Chevy. Mm. In the back of that 90 some Chevy. Ooh, I love that. For real. We got official music videos going up now. Well, she's hotter than hell. I'm higher than gas. She's sweeter than honey. I'm poor white trash. <laughs> she ain't had a check that I couldn't cash. I guess that she's my Carter and I'm her cash. Love it. I've been sitting around. <laughs> Drink 
working on it I guess I'm gonna have to get me a ring and get it on it That old darling of mine is like a 90-some Chevy She rides just right when you turn her on The only thing sounds better than that old 350 is when she's running up to kiss me When I get home, it's been a hard day I tell you, darling, it's been a long week Might have to load up the dogs Go and listen to the frogs croaking down in the creek We can take her nice and slow A case of beer and a slim cold Let the sun sink good and low There ain't no telling where I will Go in the back of that 90-some Chevy I love that line. That is my favorite. The way he delivered it, too, right there. His voice, like, I don't know what that is. Like, it's almost like his voice, um, like our son's going through puberty right now. So his voice, like, (laughs) sometimes when he's talking, like, but it's like a a much more refined version of that. Yeah, it's it's purposeful. And it just, it's, man, it sounds so good. It does. I love it when that happens. Ugh. 90 some Chevy. Yes. In the back of that 90 some Chevy. That old darling of mine's like a 90 some Chevy. She rides just right when you turn her on. <laughs> oh, yes sir this is definitely my new favorite from him that was so good man that Look was so him. good oh it would have been good to get his wife in there at the end oh. i'm sure with all of the freaking stuff that he's going through he's, he probably wants to protect his family and keep them off of the airwaves yeah. at this time which is so good but, I yeah. just think it's so great, especially with all the craziness, like like the content that he's putting out. I can see why he'd want to protect his family from yeah. it. So, um, but I just love that he, oh, his voice is so good. And that's such a good song. It was making me think of um, memories of us, like when your dad first gave you his truck. We yep. first had that that big old clunker. Was it wasn't a Ford or was it, it was a Chevy? A Ford. Okay. You're gonna get me in trouble, okay? <laughs> All those but Chevy was, lovers are going to be like, what? It was a huge It was a old, gift, okay? Yeah, it was a gift I'm from his dad, like, which means meant so much. But, but riding it, around in that thing, it just gave me these these cool vibes. And then going to visit you in, um, so he used to live in the backwoods in Keystone here. And I used to drive easily in 30 minutes to an hour, depending on like when I was going. Yeah, yeah it like was an, an hour. hour. One road go. alone, that one road yeah. uh, was like 30 minutes. Oh, dude. God. It, it was such it took a forever. long road, a long country road. You were you were worth it you were worth it but it was all uh dirt roads back roads all that stuff and that was my first introduction to it even though living in tennessee i i didn't have a lot of experience with that so yeah i've I'd been to stuck tennessee with holes. you it's not like keystone okay <laughs> keystone is its own freaking place but man. he used to take me out and take me riding and he would know like the back roads he would know everything he would know like oh you can turn down this way if you can't get past this way he would know all the tricks once i got my honda civic stuck and he's like just keep you know keep turning your wheel like this you gotta go like this a little bit kind of navigate those roles left yeah. and right left and right <laughs> But uh, also it reminds me of when your mom's uh, husband at the time gave us his truck to ride in. And I just remember it being like the um, seats that go all the way around. The yeah, just like, my, just like scoot. my Ford. Yeah, my I can scoot right it. next yeah, to you. I love those trucks that have the long seat to yeah. where your girl can just slide right next to you. Yeah, and we're just driving. And I think it had a, Help you shift a sun- gears. Did it have a sunroof? Because I no. feel like I remember looking up. Maybe and- it did. I don't know. But anyway, it was just good good memories. Good memories of when we were dating and driving back roads and even the Johnny and June like June Carter and Johnny Cash line, uh like that was that movie, you know, like he was way before our time and everything like that. Yeah. His most famous songs obviously like everyone's heard, but that movie with Walking Phoenix came out and yeah. 
Walk the Line was like right around when we first got together. Uh-huh. And so it was like a big part of me and you yeah. as well, like our, our beginning of our story. Yeah. Um, their love story is so yeah, romantic. It's just a it great is. love story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. And you you can tell that they're meant for each other. Like they don't they don't have the most traditional. And it was like back in the time where people were like, you're getting a divorce from your husband. It's not very good. You know what I mean? But like they found each other in the middle of when you wouldn't normally find someone. And that's when I know that you, they were meant to be together. Like every time I hear the story of June and, jo- and Johnny Cash, like it's just beautiful it just, to me. It's so romantic, and I just love it. I just love it. It spoke to me so much because I was a I was a man that you know had like you know she saw a lot of of potential in me, but I was so troubled. You know, I had all of this baggage and all of these vices that were controlling me, and then finally I meet this person. And I'm like, you know, this is somebody that's worth fighting to like fight my demons off and fight to overcome all of these things to be a better person for her and uh yeah that's i love that movie i love that movie and so much and definitely love this song that and that song, song awesome. spoke volumes to us definitely and it just <laughs> it's like that kind of a country romance and i just love it and yeah. i know that he's not put in that country box i know that for sure but like you just can't help but hear those and just get reminded of that cuz i'm not really familiar with this music i don't listen to this type of music all the time so i'm just going with what i can relate listen. it to yeah i was going to say yeah. we're we have our life experience mm-hmm. and i grew up in the country and that's what it reminds me of, of just going back to those country roads and yeah that's you know that's that's what it reminds us yeah. of so like, <laughs> you shouldn't apologize for that um i don't feel like anyways oh god his voice i just i could listen to him over and over again that was very romantic that was very next time we go on a date we have to listen to that song seriously this song would have probably played at our wedding if yeah. it came out <laughs> all that time ago yeah it would have been awesome man. it it's was a, a good great song, song. <laughs> that was nice to see a different side of him because he you know he's really good at telling the truth and he's really good at spreading that message to the world but it was also to, nice to see the the, the kind of romantic side to him and the country boy side to him and and what he feels about his wife i'm sure yeah. and that was nice i'm to sure see she that. feels special yeah having a song written about their love but man i have to say one thing and i'm just a jokester sometimes okay but it's like a it's a song about a 90 something chevy his chevy truck is like broke down and he's like well i want to get a shot of me driving in a chevy for the music video but my truck is broke down it won't run it won't run anymore so just get me get a shot at me in the in the Chevy car, and it looked like he's in like a four door car, and oh, I thought it was a, a truck. That's it didn't so look funny. like a truck to me. I could be wrong, <laughs> and like I said, I'm just poking a little bit of fun. But it looked like it was a car to me. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, dude, hey, hey you got to get the Chevy. shot that you can get. You know, it was yep. a Chevy exactly. He's <laughs> like, show me driving this Chevy with the Chevy on the steering wheel. <laughs> My truck broke down though, so we're just gonna have to use this car. We're gonna you know? do it. We <laughs> it's do like what a you Chevy can, man. Impala or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that was funny to me. You're very perceptive if that's. I could be wrong, like I said. I could be wrong. I just uh, that's uh, what it, it looked like a car to me. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> another fun one. It and definitely was a newer freaking vehicle than the '90s yep. vehicle. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely upgraded. Upgraded Chevy. 2011 Chevy Impala made its <laughs> debut in the music video. So Anyways, all right. Hope you enjoyed that reaction, friends. We will see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.